sir. Merry Christmas. Thank you. I thought you might be coming along. Susie couldn't make it. How's she doing today? Well, we're, we're still waiting for some good news. We'll miss her singing at our Christmas party. She will, too. You might need some more tests. Uh, this is what you want me to do, isn't it? What I want is her to get better. Aren't there some new drugs that she can take? I've already prescribed them for you. I'm doing the best I can. You don't really know why people get sick like this, do you? No. No, you don't. It is not my fault. Your, your career's over. It's over. It's not my fault. It's not my fault! Andrew? Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm fine. All right, well, Merry Christmas. Yeah, you too. Merry Christmas. Okay. Hope you're all ready for Christmas. It feels like Christmas in Cleveland. It's cold enough. The cold is set in. The good news in the WGAR forecast as you get ready to head over the river and through the woods. No snow between here and Grandma's house. The street is a blanket white and candles all burn bright. Smiling faces on the glow. Fireplace and mistletoe. She could have been there. Sorry, I had to stay home and throw up. I'm so sick of throwing up. I saw Kevin. He gave me a new prescription. I'll, I'll fill it in the morning. I'm so sorry. I know you are, babe. I should have stayed home. You're always staying home. Can't ignore our friends. Did you have a good time? Uh -uh. John and Martha gave us the annual Christmas gift. That's so nice.
<laughs> Martha said that she missed hearing you sing. Remember when you used to sing with George's group? I used to think that you were singing just for me. I was. There's times in your life Things never seem right And after you've tried I'll never leave failed, you You want to give up the fight Don't lose sight Of all the good things in your life Smile in the face of adversity you will see Orchestra tickets. Uh, Sandy, I'm going to be going away for the weekend. Nice hat. Australian. No, it's it's good wines. It's actually a, a red grape. Yeah, a, a red grape. Yeah, I know it's it's a white wine, but it's it's a red grape. But you just have to trust me on this one, okay? Who did this to you? Mary, no! Oh! Uh. Is it your car? Yes. Officer, can you give me a, a break? I, I didn't know that you had to pay on weekends. Hey, hey, just relax. I was just putting a note on your car. City Council's decided to uh, remove all these parking meters. They what? New Town Council. They decided the town's losing its old friendly atmosphere, so uh, I was just leaving a note on your truck to let you know we need this area clear for the Christmas and holiday street party. <laughs> no more parking meters, I can't believe it. <laughs> Things change. It's a good uh, Christmas present for the people. It's a good way to start the new year. Oh, by the way, your uh, left rear tire needs some air. Yeah. yeah. Merry Christmas. Yeah, yeah, you too. So what's up? What's the deal with the cop? Oh, nothing. My dad was just thinking this guy was writing a ticket. Yeah, so what else is going on? We're getting ready to go out for our summer house for Christmas. Summer house? Yeah, it's for my mom. She likes stuff there. She's still sick? Yeah. I'm sorry. 
It's okay. You know, I gotta go. I'll call you guys later. Bye. Bye. How you doing? Merry Christmas. Hi, Hi Andrew. How are you? Oh, good to see you. Good to see you too. How you doing? Come on, join us. Well, would you? Have a seat. Come on. Okay, okay. Hey. How you doing? Good Getting ready for you. the holidays? Yeah, you bet. How about you? Uh, day by day. Yeah. yeah. Mm, hustle bustle. Mm, yeah. How's Susie doing? Oh, we're taking it day by day. She still gets tired really easily. Andrew, it's the meds. If you can get her off of them, she's gonna be a new person. I'll take the old one. I know. Well, you know who that is, don't you? Mm -mm. That's Charlie, Charlie Lawson. Fred Lawson's son. Charlie lost his wife and kid in a car accident on River Road. Is that right? Oh, yeah. You know, I, I ran into him the other day. I thought he was giving me a ticket, but he, he wasn't. Nice guy. He's a super guy. Hmm. Well, listen, um, we're going up to the summer house for the holidays, and uh, I, I was wondering on the 23rd, I know it's Christmas and everything, but if you had time and you're in the neighborhood, if you could stop on by, we could enjoy the company for, for Susan. I will be there. <laughs> I know, I could count on you, Pat. Okay, well, listen, I, I, I gotta go. It's good, good to, to see you. you. Merry Christmas. Right. Merry Christmas. Good to see you. Give the kids a hug for me. You bet. Andrew Austin, I... Yeah, I remember you. Yeah. Have a seat. Please. Hey, I'm uh, sorry to hear things are going so rough for you these days. <laughs> God, it is a small town, isn't it? Hey, listen, I was just talking to a friend of mine, and I... I heard about you and your family, and well, I'm, I'm, I didn't know that. I'm, I'm sorry. Thanks. It, uh, it happened a while ago. Sorry. You know, sometimes people don't understand. My wife and I, you know, we tried to have kids for years, and then it happened. Now they're both gone. Why? It's a mystery. My uh, niece Amy is taking some music lessons from your wife. Is that right? Yeah. How's your wife doing, by the way? Hey, it's crazy. Hey, it's all about faith, you know, and um, and hope. Excuse me. Hello. Yeah, this is he. I, I, I'm sorry, I, you're breaking up here. But it's good. No, look, I, I'm sorry, I'm losing you. You're saying it, it, it's good. Well, I am now. No, uh, thank you. Yeah, but listen, I, I've got to go. It's, it's nice to officially meet you. Yeah? Thank you. You bet. All the infants so tender and mild Sleep in heavenly peace Sleep in heavenly peace Amy, that was so nice. You're really starting to get a feel for it. Thanks, Mrs. Austin. I love singing. I wonder if this will be my career. In time, you'll know. How did you know? My dad. He used to tell me I was talented and beautiful. For a long time, I didn't believe him. And then, one time in high school, there was this talent contest, and this band asked me to sing with them, so I did. How did it work out? Oh, it was incredible. I was so nervous. I was all dressed up. What did you wear? I had this perfect little black dress. It had all these little sequins on it. It was the only time my mother ever let me wear it. <laughs> and I sang this song, and I felt like everybody in the whole entire place was just listening and watching me. And then after the song was finished, everybody cheered and screamed. It was amazing. Wow. That's when I knew I was going to be a singer. 
But that's enough about that. You know this is probably gonna be our last music lesson for a while. Yeah, I know. Well, I'll give you a call after Christmas, okay? Okay. okay. Here's my money for today's Amy, lessons. I want you to take that and put it I in. I know, put it in my savings account. But you never take the money, Mrs. Austin. Why? Well, I guess I look at you as my other daughter. <laughs> okay. Well, sit down. We're almost all packed up. We just have to get the Christmas presents and a few warm things, some things to snuggle in. When are we gonna leave? Now. <laughs> hmm? So really, when are we gonna go? Early. Okay. Well, I got you a couple of goodies from the drugstore. These may change, though. Hmm. Hey, I got a call from Dr. Shu, the lab doc. I, I tried calling you earlier, but I couldn't get through. He said your tests were very good. Really? He said it several times, as a matter of fact. Maybe this is a good sign, huh? Wouldn't that be wonderful? You know, I, I have been feeling a bit better lately. Well, you seem better. You haven't been throwing up. That's... Definitely a good sign. Hey guys. What you watching? And when's it over? Okay, well, uh, listen, I'm going to the, uh, the gas station for a few minutes. I'll be right back. You, you can call me on the cell phone if you need to get a hold of me, okay? And uh, don't disturb your mom, she's asleep. Okay? Okay. Hey, Kevin, what are you doing? Making house calls? Anything for you, Andrew. Say, uh, did you get that phone call from Dr. Shu? Yeah, Ooh, what a relief. Well, listen, Susie's thrilled. We're, we're leaving first thing in the morning. I was just gonna get some gas. What did he say to you? What? What did Dr. Shu say to you? He said that the 
tests were good. No, I don't think so. Andrew, the, the tests were not good at all. What? There must have been some miscommunication. We're concerned about her white blood cell count. There's nothing very good here at all. That's why I thought I'd stop by and go over it with you. I mean, I thought the new drugs would make a difference. Not only did they not make a difference, it's worse. Oh, God. It's the worst she's ever been. I don't understand it. I mean, she doesn't respond to anything I do. Listen, I've called in a new drug for her. I want you to start giving it to her first thing tomorrow morning, okay? All right. Take care, okay? Yeah. This Christmas to be the most wonderful, wonderful Christmas, Christmas of our lives. I pray each day for strength. I'm more in love with you than ever before. I'll always love you, babe. Susan. Okay. Is this everything? I hope so. Mom, can we bring Tucker, please? Chris, we've been over this. He is gonna come and take it. It's just too much for me. All right. Tucker, I got some bad news. You can't come with us, but we still love you. Okay. Let's go, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Sorry, Pooch, you're Who's that? A friend of yours. A friend? How good a friend? Looks, looks like you know him pretty well. What's what's this? What's going on here? Keep your voice down. Keep my voice down. My voice is fine. I don't know what you're talking about. You're embarrassing me. Oh, I'm embarrassing you. What exactly do you think you're doing right now? No. Oh, we're getting out of here. Then we're getting out of here. Something happened. to come up here with my parents. Really? Yeah, Grandma Maxwell spent a lot of Christmases up here. You know, this Christmas is gonna be a bit different, guys, but it's gonna be great.
Ah, uh, look who it is! Oh. Hey, thanks for opening the house. You're welcome, and I put the heating on as well. Oh, thank you. When you phoned, it took me a while to realize you're actually going to be here for Christmas. Yeah. When was the last time you guys were here at this time of year? Not since the kids were born. Abby and Thomas are going to be over the moon. They've got someone to play with. Uh, give me a hand. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So, uh, how's Susie? Can we talk about it later? Sure. Sir. Okay, thanks so much. You're How welcome. are you doing? Real good, thanks. Yeah, I'll say hi to everyone for me. Will do. Yeah. Have a good Christmas. Thanks. Hey, Andrew. Hey. You up here for Christmas this year? Yeah, good to see you, Father. Wow, good to see you. Hey, listen, um, we're having some people over on the 23rd at Maxwell's. Uh, okay, I'm would you be interested in coming? It's for yeah, Susie. I, oh, yeah, yeah. What time? Uh, 6.30, 7. Yeah, yeah, that'd be good. I had to get the order wine from somebody, you know. Uh, You're yeah. not around, you know. <laughs> so, uh, how's everything going? No, I'd, I'd like to talk to you about something else. Okay, you don't want to talk now. Or... No, no, yeah, no, no, yeah. no. Okay, well, give me a call at the rectory and we'll put something together. Will do. Okay, thanks. Great. You're coming, right? I'm coming. I'll be there. Looking All forward right. to it. Okay, thanks. Oh, what? Tutsi. Hey. hey. Good to see you. Oh, you. oh, look at that gray is coming in pretty Your good. Your hands are freezing. I know. I came in here to get some warm. It's so cold in my shop this time of year. Speaking of which, yeah. are you guys going to come and get a Christmas, Christmas tree? tree? Yeah. Bring the kids because they do a good job, huh? Listen, I heard about Susie. How's she doing? Oh. I'm so sorry. Oh, gosh. No, it's in here. Oh. Well, <coughs> if it isn't Al Prickling. <laughs> Right. Oh, fine. I, uh, how are you treating the chickens nowadays? Oh, with great kindness and respect. But you know, it's not the chickens account first. It's the colonel. And he loves us. No bones about it. Get it? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You, Andrew, are you still selling the altar wine? Yes, I am. I am, but there's a more serious uh, topic of affairs right now. Our friend Tootsie is freezing hers off because she's not getting any electricity at the Christmas yeah. tree shack. Can you help her out? Well... No, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Now, Tootsie, we can't have you cold down there. What's the problem? Well, you know, yeah, yeah I, I put on the lights, I put on the heat, and then everything goes out. You know what that's like. <clears throat> Tootsie, your hands are cold. Hey. <laughs> no, I, I'm going to take care of this. After all, you're right next door. I'm going to call my foreman. You'll run a line out there. Well, thank you. That is really nice of you. <laughs> I'll take care of you. Trust me. Good job, buddy. Oh, that's that's too much. Yeah, that's okay. Here. Oh. Okay. Good job. Stop! I'm right here. Okay. What's this one? No, no, no. As a kid, going to get the Christmas tree was always so exciting. I used to get excited to think about all the presents we'd, we'd, we'd get under the tree each year. One year there were so many, you, you couldn't even see the bottom of the tree. Then my mother used to play a game with us where she used to wrap up anything that she would <laughs> find in the house. Cans of soup, bars of soap. It was still pretty exciting. So now here I am getting a Christmas tree and I'm not excited. The, you know, the kids can see right through me. I, I, I ought to do something. What is the matter with you? Oh, God. Will you just go out there and find a Christmas tree with your kids, huh? Go, go, get.
Hey guys, how y'all doing? Hey. Hey Toots, I'm gonna take a look at them space heaters for you, get them all fixed up, get you back in business. <laughs> oh, look. Yeah. Look at his hair. Look at yours. Look at you <laughs> and your earrings. <laughs> oh. Hey. What? Stop. I can do what I want. No, because you can't. Because. Guys, why don't you go upstairs through the attic, okay? And get the rest of the Christmas decorations. We've never done it before. It's okay. Just go. Let me do no, it. No, 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 no. No, go, okay? You Turn on the light. Need light. Yeah, I knew you. Go turn on the light for your brother, okay? Right, Be careful. Uh, guys, guys, D don't break anything, please. Okay. You okay. good. You like that tree? Yeah. It's a bit fuller than we normally get, but yeah. I like Tootsie. Don't. You think she likes him? Oh. Pick curling. So old and dusty. I bet Ghost lives up here. Hey! Hey! Uh, hey! Hey! <laughs> you look good. Thanks. Sit down. Yeah. It's a nice shirt. Oh, thanks. Uh, Army surplus store? Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, you already ordered. Oh, no, not, not for you. What do you want? Oh, um, iced tea. Iced tea? You can have something harder. No, um, salad. Yeah, nice salad. Uh, iced tea and a salad, please? Thanks, um, by the way, for coming to the funeral. That really meant a lot to me. Oh, no problem. <laughs> you probably shouldn't say this, but um, I had a feeling something bad was going to happen. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, you know, motorcycles and... Yeah, I know, but he was just not nice. <laughs> Whatever, you know. Um, so I, I heard you and, and, and Karen broke up. Yeah. You, you good with that? Yeah, I'm good. Good, good, or not so good? good. No, good. Good. Oh, good. That's good. Thank you. Good. Good. <laughs> I, I probably shouldn't say this either, but I think about you often. Often? Often. <laughs> really? Probably more often than not. Oh. <laughs> this is bad. No, no, it's, it's good. No, it's, um, it's just really complicated right now. Well, what, what can I do? Look at this neat album. What's it say? Lucy Austin. Who 
Who's Lucy? I don't know. All of the pages are blank. Hey, look at these costumes. So let's put them on. Okay. It's too quiet up there. You're right. Hey, guys. What are you doing up there? Nothing, Dad. Well, come on down. Oh, my. <laughs> Look at this. Look at you. Oh, these are yours from when you were small? <laughs> Look at that. Okay, so let me guess. Um, Statue of Liberty. Freakish looking elf. Oh, of course. <laughs> what are you? Uh, Ghost of Christmas Pants. Oh, very <laughs> nice. Wow. <laughs> Mom? Yeah? Who's Lucy? Hey, Mary. You want to help me set the table? Yeah. Uh uh, no, it's a really, really good wine. Okay, well, maybe just a sip. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm. It goes very well with that wine. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Open this one. No, oh, 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 come on. What is it? Ask me. For Lucy. I'm sorry, Mom. Did I say something wrong? No. No. Someday, buddy, okay? Okay. Just not today. It's not my fault. Your, your career's over. It's over. It's not my fault. It's, it's over. 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 It's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. Babe, hey, what's the matter? I think I... <coughs> I, uh... I just thought I heard the kids. I'll go check them. No, no, no. No, I won't. No. Mom? 
mom? Are you gonna die? I don't know. But I do know that I'll always be with you. Okay, close eyes. Say good night. How are you? Oh, fine, Father. Good to see you, Andrew. Good to see you too. We don't see you up here so often, you know? It's yeah. kind of it's kind of nice. Yeah. Uh, it's a good day to come, you know? Be... So one day the lake is frozen, and the next day it's thawed, and the waves are back. I, uh, let's go in here. I love this place up here. I really do. This is a picture here that uh, one of our parishioners sent, a, sent to us from Italy. We just had it restored. You know, you see these guys and you wonder, you know, who, who were they, you know, in their day? What did they do and that type of thing? I, uh, I don't know. It's uh, big. Yeah. Uh, why don't we sit here, you know? I'm gonna, if you don't mind, I'm going to take my coat off. This place is so warm. One of the things that the old houses didn't have problems with was heating. But um, have you ever been in this, this room? No. Um, this, is a, this is a great place, and I'm glad you're here. You know, you're welcome anytime. So, uh, how are you? Good. Uh, the family's good, the business is good. It's, uh, it's, it's good. Well, oh, Susie's dying. And I, I'm just trying to, uh, Figure it out. Figure it out? Why? Andrew, this is just the way life is. The Lord gives, the Lord takes away. It's not like you have had anything to do with it. Are you thinking that somehow you're responsible for this? Maybe. How could you be responsible? I'm sure. I'm sure you're doing every conceivable thing that you can do to resolve this. You got a lot on your hands right now, Andrew. This is not something you should be worrying about. Maybe. I don't understand. Susie and I have known each other for a long time. We started dating each other in high school. So then I uh, went away to college and she um, started her music career. We'd still see each other at summer times, but we just sort of lost touch. And then, um, well, I, I was in New York on a, on a business trip, and uh, I found out that she was singing in a nightclub nearby, and I went to go and see her, and I, I don't know if you've ever heard her sing, but... Uh, no, no, I haven't. Well, she's good. She's really good. That you loved me most 
when it mattered most to me. When I finally got back to town, things were drastically different. I saw her at a, a party, and she was with this other guy, and she was pregnant. The father was killed in a motorcycle accident. I always knew I loved her, and I, I wanted to marry her, so we, we did, quietly, of course, because she was expecting. At first, I was okay with it. I started picking out names. Susie thought it was going to be a girl, so she, she picked Lucy. And then, um, one night we had uh, a, a pretty bad argument, and uh, I don't know what came over me, but uh, I lost my temper. It's not my fault. I'm just asking you to take care of it. What do you expect me to do? I expect you to do something about it. I just can't do that, Andrew. I can't. I just can't do that. Did you talk to each other after that? No. We didn't talk for a long time after that. It was a, a very confusing time. It's not your fault. No! No! Oh! She started going to these uh, support groups, and that, that seemed to help. And I, I, I went once, but I, I, I couldn't go again, and so I, I sold the house, and... Uh, we moved, and I, I, I know that God's angry with me, and I had no idea what I was expecting her to do. And she, she started going to church daily. And Susie's been working it out. I haven't. I've been um, covering it up. Well, Andrew, you didn't act alone here. Where is your faith? I mean, you don't know how this is going to work out. Look, our understanding of God's ways is limited. But one thing I can tell you for sure, and that is that God loves you unconditionally. Can you understand that? Are you the only one that God won't forgive? A God who's giving you so much wouldn't forgive you? This is about Susie. Susie needs your love right now. It's about faith. God responds to faith. What can I do? I'm glad you came by. God bless you. Yeah. Okay, I'll walk out with you.
to see Father Johnston. Thank you. I've been better. <laughs> I brought you our favorite. Double-decker chocolate cake. Mm. <laughs> you want some tea? Sure. So, how's the teaching going? Oh, I love it. I've been slow lately. Too many drugs. How about you, Oh, he's okay. His business is a bit slow this year. <laughs> Abby and Thomas are at the same school now. Oh. Taking all those, in theory. What's going on here? Are you gonna make it? Of course you're gonna make it. Rach, I don't know. I've turned it over a thousand times. I think this is it for me. No, Susie. Seems like all I ever do is go for tests. Andrew keeps bugging Kevin for this great solution, but I'm just so sick. I try and rally for the kids, but I'm I just wiped out. I got nothing left. I can't even deal with Kevin anymore. I just make Andrew do it. Are you eating anything? I was having trouble keeping anything down, so I stopped taking the drugs about a week ago. Susie! Rich, they were making me sick. I'm still taking the pain pills. And I flushed the other ones. It's a shame, really, because they're so expensive. <laughs> Maybe I'll start taking them again after Christmas. Okay. Andrew doesn't know. You, you have to tell him. No, I can't. Susie, you're not giving up on this, are you? No, I, I don't know, Rach. It's just so many things. You know, the kids and Andrew. Who's gonna take care of them? Who's gonna be their mom? Because I sure as hell. I don't know. I just don't know what to do anymore. Rach, they're gonna remember me sick. It's just all out of my hands. I know. I know. <laughs> oh, did you get the money? Five bucks. And if there's some leftover, we can get some candy. Yeah, ooh, your candy, awesome. Yeah, I think we should, yeah, I think we should get chocolate chip. Yeah, let's make those. Chocolate chip? Yeah. All right. Awesome. Hey, Kevin, it's Andrew. How you doing? Andrew, I'm fine. What's the weather like up there? Oh, it's cold, but we're keeping the fire going. How's Susie doing? Oh, she's OK. She seems to have picked up in the past several days, which is good. She's just amazing. Hey guys, how are you? I love those hats. This is great, you know. Thank you. Have you decorated your tree? Yeah, well, it's okay. Just okay? Aren't you excited? It's Christmas. Well, my mom's sick. My dad doesn't think we know, but we do. Yeah, I heard. I'm sorry. Do you think he'll die? Chris, shut up! Look, everything is gonna work out. But when someone we love is sick, that's hard. And it can make us afraid. It's almost impossible, Andrew, but you've got to try and have her rest. She's at a turning point. She needs to get enough sleep. I got Susie's latest test results back today, and... Kevin, what's the story? Are we doing everything we can? I want to get this thing resolved now. Andrew, she's got cancer. What can 
I say, this is about as serious as it gets. People die of cancer every day. I want a second opinion. I'm doing everything that can be done. You want a second opinion? That's fine. I don't think we'll be able to make it up to your party. I'm really sorry. We'd like to come. Now, do you want to hear about the test results or not? Sometimes we're not sure that God loves us at times like this, but he does, and he'll always be with us. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. I'm sorry, we have to go to the store. Okay. All right. Now listen, good to see you, and remember, prayer, and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Okay, we'll see you. Call Kevin. No. Oh, come on, honey. Andrew, no. You just fell in the middle of the kitchen. Don't L call Listen Kevin. Listen to me. No, I just need to rest, okay? No. Why don't you guys do the dishes tonight? I'm gonna go sit with your mom, okay? Johnson told us about Bring. Yeah. Well, maybe we should try it. Okay. And you go first. Yeah, sure, I'll ask her. Great. Hey, Mom. Yeah. Can me and Chris go over to Abby's house for a sleepover, please? It's okay with me if it's okay with your dad. Oh, yeah, sure, it's okay. Yes! Make sure you get your stuff put together. What you thinking about, babe? Uh, just that it's so beautiful here. I always 
love this place. So quiet this time of year. It'll be quiet any time of year without you. Andrew, I'm not dead yet. Look, I didn't mean that. I know. Maybe you'll go first. <laughs> it's nice that you can have a sense of humor about it. I don't have a choice. Look. Promise me something, okay? What? Promise me you'll tell the kids about me. Of course. All the good stuff. A little bit of the bad stuff, too. You gotta balance it out. Hello? Oh, hi, Andrew. Oh, hi, May. You up here this year? Uh, yeah, yeah, we're, we're here till after Christmas. Listen, I need a favor. I said I would take care of this old fellow from the nursing home. Uh -huh. I, I'm sorry to hear that. And I've got to go down and take care of her, and I need some help. His uh, name is Gus. May, this is a really difficult time. Oh, I knew you'd understand. No, that's not what I meant. Well, and I told uh, him you'd be there to check him out. May, May could you hang on a second? She was supposed to take care of some old guy from a nursing home, and now she can't do it, and she wants to know if we can tomorrow night. That's funny. I, Susie, it's, it's more complicated than that. It's... Just do it for me. Yeah, May? Yes? Yeah, that would be fine. Oh, Andrew, thank you so much. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Susie, there's something I have to tell you. I invited some people over for tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. in, in retrospect, it's, it's, it's a bad idea, and I just didn't think having... No, 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 no. it's fine. You're, you're too tired. It's what I want. You sure? Yeah. I need to be around people right now. Did I mention how wonderful I think you are? No. Did I mention how much I love it when you kiss me? Did I mention how sexy I think you are? Keep talking. Mm -hmm. Hey, how were they? They were absolutely wonderful. Good. Oh, no, no, honey, stay inside. Yeah, I'm fine. Hey, Dad. You've got lipstick on you. I'm sorry. Okay, well, I, I gotta go. Okay. Where are you going, Dad? Dad's gonna go pick up a, a friend. Yeah. Oh. His name's Gus. Mm. Gus who? Uncle Gus. He's oh, okay. A, he's a, uh... Relative, not too close. Oh. Yeah. Okay. okay. Why don't you guys go inside? All right. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome anytime. Mm. Are you sure you want to be having people over when you're not feeling good? Yeah. You know what? This place has always been about friends and family. Okay. okay. Well, decorator extraordinaire at your service mm. now. Mm. All right, 
I... Are you, uh... Gus? Yes. Oh, you guys, this tree is beautiful. They've done a great job. Yes, very nice. What time are you coming in? About seven. Okay. See you at the party. Okay. Bye. 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 Thank you. Well, you want to come with me? Yes. This is my wife, Susie. Hi, this is Chris and this is Mary. That's nice. Welcome to our home. Actually, I'd prefer if you could call me Gus. Gus? Uncle Gus, if you'd prefer. It has a nice ring to it. All right. yeah. We told the kids about you being a distant relative. We oh. thought that'd make you feel more at home. Thank you. I do already. Uh, where's Uncle Gus staying? First floor. Okay, so you, you want to show Uncle Gus to his room? Thank you. Ah, oh, fine. It wasn't as bad as I expected. He was just sitting there waiting for me <laughs> with his little bag. Probably wanted to get the hell out of there anyway. Honey? Where are they going? Down at the lake. You, you said it was okay? Yeah. Well, if, what, he's an old man. What, what if he Andrew, falls? Andrew, relax. It's fine. Hey, Chris? Yeah. Don't be gone too long. And remember to take care of Uncle Gus, okay? Okay, Mom. What's that? It is now a pre-Christmas present. Pour moi? Pour vous. Should we get my mom? No, I don't think that would be necessary. Then what do we do? Nothing. She's going to be fine. See you do that again? So. We were talking about the So we really, we had a wonderful time, you know, being out So I wonder what happened. Attention, everyone. I, uh, I just wanted to say it's, it's uh, great for you to be here. Uh, 
especially this year. And, um, and Merry Christmas. Father, do you have anything to add? Well, we have a wonderful buffet set up there. Uh, Mary, would you uh, like to give the blessing? No. I want my mom to get better. Well, let's incorporate that into our prayer then. Lord, we ask at Christmas time that you lift up Andrew and his family, and particularly Susie. Amen. So let's eat. Okay, let's go. Listen, let's, let's get move on our way to Portugal. You know, it's a good place to go, yeah. particularly with all the wine. The wine just gets to Portugal. Where'd you get that from? Gus, or Uncle Gus. <laughs> you know, to be honest with you, I wasn't really thrilled that you were here today, but um, for reasons that, I just want you to know that I, I'm glad that you're here. I'm glad too. We're so glad you're here with us. Oh, thank you. It's so nice to be here with you. Okay, guys, time to go up for bed. Let's go. I will go brush your teeth. You won't marry today, didn't you? Yes, but you have something very different on your mind. Mm-hmm. Okay, bud, you're next, let's go. But... Oh, but I'll see you first thing in the morning. Okay. You're sure it's not too far out of your way to take us to the airport? Andrew, I'm going right by there. It's not a problem. You sure? Absolutely. And hey, thank you for having us. We had a great time. Hey, you're welcome. Gus? Bye-bye, and take care of yourself, old chap.
I need to talk to you. You need a better gift? No, I, I don't think so. But we want a gift. Look, th this is no time for gifts. But Uncle Gus um, promised us. Uh, I, I called an ambulance for your mom. It's, it's on the way now. You don't need to do that. Yes, I, I do. Um, no, Dad, it's okay. No, it's not okay. Uh, how do I see this? So Dad, Uncle Gus promised us that on Christmas morning, Mommy would be better. He asked us what we wanted for Christmas, and we said we wanted Mommy to feel better. Oh, guys. No. If we believe, <laughs> Mommy will be better. Oh. Dad, don't cry. Hello! Merry Christmas! <laughs> <laughs> Susie, let me look at you! <sighs> Susie, I was so afraid. Are you okay now? Are you? I really think I am. <sighs> I just don't know anything anymore. Sometimes I think I never knew anything before either. It's just a few things you need to know. <laughs> hey, did you hear? Al Pickling and Tootsie are engaged. You're serious? Yes, on Christmas Eve. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> yeah, I believe it. Gus was right. Yeah, it was the best Christmas ever. Mom is really better. I don't want to leave. Neither do I. But I'll race you down the lake. All right. I'll meet you there. Oh, no, you won't. May, Merry Christmas. It's Andrew. How is everything? Hey, how's your car? How's your mom? Oh, she's fine. She wanted to go, but well, she decided to stay home. Then she's not ill? Ill? My mom? Well, I don't think so. I mean, not that I know of. Why do you ask? Um, uh, nothing. Well, Gus is gone. Gus? Yeah, you know, Gus, the old guy. This is the church. 
French nurse. You want to know about Mr. Carpenter? Yes, please. What would you like to know? He was a resident here, a wonderful man, who would do anything in the world for you. He'll be missed as a member of our community, to be sure. Well, is he all right? Did he move? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you knew. He passed on. He died here on December 22nd. He died? Yes, I'm sorry. Look, I don't mean to cut this off, but we really are quite short of staff today. Can I call you back? Uh, no, no. Uh, th thank you for your help. Mom, we saw Uncle Gus today. He said hi. What? Yeah, it's true, although we won't be seeing him for a while because he's gone to a special place. A special place? Yeah, he said that people will forget about what happened to you, but you and Dad will never, ever forget. Father Johnson had given me a prayer by this monk, and it started, My Lord God, I have no idea where I'm going. Well, I knew that part of the prayer, but there was another part I didn't know so well. I will not fear, for you are ever with me, and you will never leave me to face my perils alone.
Christmas night.